If you're watching this episode right now, that means you've watched the other ones. Right? So like, comment, subscribe. So let's get into it. Hey guys, happy Monday! It's time for a Comic Movie Equation. I'm Comic Man Jake, and here in the Comic Kid, anything can happen. So, today, we're continuing our series of the Christopher Nolan trilogy, kicking it off with number two, The Dark Knight. The Dark Knight is one of my all-time favorite com uh, movies, mainly because of Heath Ledger's acting, but also because of the Two-Face story that's in it. And that's the really one I'm going to focus on today, because honestly, it's the equation is kind of more complex on this one. It's half of Christopher Nolan's, like with the Joker, making his own like story with the Joker, and half of you know uh, Jeff Loeb's Batman: The Long Halloween. Now, for those who don't know, Batman: The Long Halloween is a story in which. Uh, I mean, it's literally, if you just watch all the Two-Face story in the whole movie of Dark Knight, it's literally that, almost. Except for, you know, uh, he's not married at that point and all that, but it's, we'll get into it. So, let's let's talk about what the Long Halloween is. The Long Halloween is, basically, there's this, uh, there's a crime family, the, the Maronis and the Falcons, and uh, they're at war. Um, but, uh, you know, they're kind of just sitting at peace right now. Harvey Dent is a young district attorney trying to get evidence on it. And uh, Bruce Wayne is, uh, you know, the Maroni, no, the Falcons are trying to, like, persuade him to, like, make him do, uh, you know, uh, exports to the company and stuff. And Batman, you know, Bruce is like, no, I'm not doing that. And, you know, he meets uh, Selena, they're in love and that whole thing. But, um,. Later down the line, one of the uh, Maroni's son gets shot, and all they find is a 22 with a nipple uh, for a silencer, and all they see is a trinket of a, just a pumpkin on Halloween. So uh, they go and uh, investigate. There's a whole scene actually that's really uh, divulged from the comic. So, like, one of them is, if you guys remember, like, at one point, Harvey Dent turns on the bat signal to try to get Batman to come and talk to him, and Jim Gordon's like, you're not going to get him that way. And, uh, he pops up, and they all talk, um, about the Maronis and all, all, all the other stuff. Uh, and it's kind of cool, because that's in the comic. They're, they're talking about it and saying, like, you know, we're going to do whatever it takes to get these guys down. Are we in agreement on that? And they're like, yeah, I guess so. So... The Long Halloween is every like holiday, someone dies in the Maroni family, and they always die by the same thing. Twenty-two cow, twenty-two uh, a pistol that's a twenty-two. It's lightweight, uh, usually with a trinket of that s certain holiday. So Father's Day, Mother's Day, St. Patrick's Day, April Fool's Day. Uh, there's a whole bunch more, and it and it, uh, the whole like. Harvey Dent doing the whole things like the whole like you know when uh, Bruce says like I believe in Harvey Dent the whole thing he 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 talks about that and, and actually the first couple pages talking about he supported him in his campaign of to be a district attorney uh, and you know it's just it's really cool because like the whole transformation at the end where you know he's talking about you know like what's fair and everything else and this is my father's goal you know he he essentially does the whole kit and caboodle from the the that movie I mean the movie has it like to the T it's the long Halloween like I did not realize how similar it was until I actually reread the long Halloween for this thing and going geez there's so many similarities the bat signal at one point you know Harvey Dent like wanting to like hardcore press on the Falcon family at one point he uh, gets uh, one of them to turn and it's uh, you know to get him to get everyone else to you know to uh, to get everyone else arrested. The one thing that's different is again the whole, you know, remembering that, oh yeah, he, uh, how he became Two Face. In in the in the movie, it's he was he tripped and they poured gasoline and it lit on fire and that's how he burnt his face off. That's now that's how it was. 
That's not how it was in the Long Halloween. In the Long Halloween and in the comics origin, it's actually he was in court, he was testifying, uh, he was he was witnessing, uh, he was you know questioning a witness, his key witness, which was a, a Maroni family, and uh, he was the Maroni family was pretending he was coughing. I gotta take my antihistamine, and it's acid. It's like cement meant to melt the cement acid. What? And it gets all on his face. And, yeah. So he gets burnt half his face off. And that's when he starts going a little nuts. In the whole thing. And uh, it's the same thing like kind of in the, in the Batman uh, in the Dark Knight. You know, burns his face off. Starts going nuts. Always believes in chance. Which he really didn't believe until like halfway through the thing. He started getting a coin from his dad. Because he went to visit his dad who was in the loony bin. And his dad believed always he was chance. With flipping a coin so he got that coin and now he believes in chance so there's a lot of similarities in that now for the Batman Long Halloween I have to give it a solid 5 out of 10 mainly because that's half the story half the story is about Harvey Dent half the story is about the Joker but the thing is like the other 5 out of 10 I can't give you a Joker comic because it really isn't there really wasn't a good Joker comic that you could see he based it off of. You could say The Killing Joke, which is the true origin of the Joker, but, I mean, we never saw the whole, you know, actual origin of it because of Heath Ledger changing the story, like, every time. You want to know how I got these scars? Well, my dad was a drinker. Well, I had a girlfriend that was really depressed and I wanted to make her smile. He changed the story. He was such a psychotic Joker. It was awesome. So there really isn't, so the other 5 out of 10 is Nolan. Is Christopher Nolan's just what he wanted in that. So if you add Christopher Nolan's own take on the Joker, and you add the Long Halloween for the Two-Face story, you get the 10 out, uh, you know, the, the 5 out of 10 of the Long Halloween, and the 5 out of 10 out of, you know, the, he, the Heath Ledger's Joker, you know, the, Chris, the Nolan Joker, you get the 10 out of 10, the Dark Knight. And so that's what I really think is the main premise of those movies. And if you really want to get into those comics, you really want to see if I'm like fat check, you want to fat check me, link down in the description down below of the comics so you can pick this up digitally or physically up to you. Um, but other than that, I got nothing else. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this comic movie equation. I hope you enjoyed this comic movie equation. If you do, hit that like button so uh, yeah, I know you like this stuff. And uh, comment down below, what was your favorite part of The Dark Knight? I want to know like details. What was your favorite part about the movie? Was it the tone? Was it the whole, was it, you know, the Heath Ledger? Heath Ledger was my favorite on that part, but you know, let me know that in the comments down below. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, please uh, uh, do so. It's, a, a, you know, you never miss out on everything. And also hit that bell button so you never miss out on the giveaways and the live streams that we do here on this channel. All right, guys, that's all I got for today. So peace out.